think to bend your arm. What happens in your nervous system? First your brain decides, then it relays the command to the spinal cord, and finally, body nerves carry it to the muscles to contract. These three parts communicate with one another via slender, cable-like nerve cell extensions called axons. Axons wire up our body and pass on messages at high speed in the form of nerve impulses. Axons are less than one millimeter in diameter but up to a meter long in humans and these delicate structures need to be maintained for an organism's lifetime. This is an enormous biological challenge and, unsurprisingly, we gradually lose half our axons towards high age and far more in dementia. Wouldn't it be great if we could develop cures for this problem? At the University of Manchester we investigate the biological mechanisms which maintain axons for life. For this we study the structural core of axons. Parallel bundles of long, thin, tubular elements called microtubules. These bundles run uninterrupted all along axons. However, in the aging or dement brain, they can become tangled in places, forming weak spots that threaten axonal survival. We ask, therefore, what are the mechanisms that maintain microtubule bundles in order and how do they go wrong in age or dementia? You may be surprised to hear that we do our studies in fruit flies. Work in flies is much faster and cheaper than in larger animals and their nerve cells are remarkably similar to ours. And flies serve as many humans during our research. Using flies, we discovered that the protein called SHOT acts as a track layer, making sure that new microtubules grow straight and in line with another. If shot is removed or damaged, axonal microtubules become tangled and the nerve cells are destined to die early. Notably, this work in flies helps explain why humans or mice lacking the shot equivalent dystonin suffer from neurodegeneration. Apart from shot dystonin, we work on other proteins keeping order through very different mechanisms. For example, one sits within microtubule bundles to keep them in shape, Another sits on the inner surface of axons from where it eliminates any microtubules which try to escape from the bundle. From our work, we propose that very different protein functions complement each other to form a well-balanced axonal machinery of microtubule bundle maintenance. Since mutations in most of these proteins are known to cause neurodegeneration in humans, our work will lead to the kind of knowledge required to develop more effective ways to prevent brain decay. My name is Andreas Prokop and I am a professor at the Faculty of Life Sciences at the University of Manchester.